Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and thought I'd tell you a random story, maybe a little more random than other ones that I've told on here, but a story that hopefully you all enjoy nonetheless, and I'm today going to be talking about... Man, I'm, I'm going to be talking about something that uh, brings out my fear in everything, sometimes not everything, but I'm going to be talking about the time I saw and had to deal with a printer that was a repurposed roach house. Now, this happened at my previous job, right? Uh, I was doing on-campus IT for the entirety of my college career, and at one point, I, I really did enjoy my job. I did. But there were sometimes, you know, you deal with some annoying people. Some days you don't like your job, as cool as it might be. I mean, that's going to happen with any job. And there's other times where you just literally nope the hell out of a room. And this would happen. Now, to anybody that thinks this might sound familiar or anything like that, we actually did. It was Daniel and I told this story. Uh, well, I told it on Mock Chat Plus Episode 1. But for anybody that hasn't listened to that, I thought this would be a fun, entertaining story to retell. So this is what happened, right? I was doing on-campus IT. I had my own office and everything. And it was pretty nice. But I did it for anywhere between two and like five or six different buildings. And it was really anything from help. I can't get my email to load up. I can't get my network drives mapped to help. My computer's on fire and it won't post and I don't know what to do. But what happened was printer issues were something that occasionally happened. When they happened, they were just absolutely horrible. I, I don't like printers. I really don't. I just, I don't like the drivers, I don't like dealing with printers, anything like that. Most people in IT learn to despise printers, and anybody who's worked in a typical IT setting knows what I'm talking about. But what ended up happening with this was there was a printer that I got in my email queue. I think either this person or my boss emailed me, they said, hey, can you please check out this printer, it's not working. And I'm like, okay, sure, I'll check it out. Now, I worked with a department that dealt a little bit with food and everything, and that's going to be an important key for later on, right? Major key DJ Khaled style. But what ended up happening was I go ahead and I go up to this office, and there's this lady up there, and she's nice enough, you know, but she's on the phone, and I just kind of silently signal to her, like, hey, I'm here for the printer, and she kind of gives me a signal, like, okay, cool, I understand. So I check out the printer. Now, it's on, it's hooked up. The first thing I do is open up the printer. I open up the printer to check that the ink is there and everything. And I look at it and I immediately walk out of the room for a few seconds, come back in and I'm trying to get her attention. And she's like putting up her finger, like, hold on a moment. I'm on the phone. Can you see? I'm, can't you see I'm on the phone right here? And I'm just like pacing around the office, looking at this mess that's in the printer, right? And I'm trying to process this. And then what ends up happening is about a minute later, she gets off the phone and she's like, oh, hey, so you're here for the printer. And I was like, I found your problem. Your printer's full of roaches. Now inside, this was, guys, this was not, and girls, this was not just like regular roaches running around right now. Several people I'm sure have dealt with electronics or dealt with something that had maybe a few dead roaches in there. These were live roaches. They were running around. They were having a fun time. They made this their own mansion. They loved this Canon printer, right? But it wasn't only that. The problem is, they had also been fucking like rabbits inside of this printer, and it had eggs everywhere. I'd never seen anything like this. There were so many roaches running around, there were eggs all over, and then I look over to the side, right, I look to the left, and this lady had a bunch of like, kind of puffed rice type stuff and everything, that's why I had to mention, you know, the food thing. And at first, I saw all these little dots all over the desk. And to this day, I honest to God don't know what it was, if it was one or uh, something or another, or if it was both combined. But it looked kind of like, let's say you take like Cheeto puffs, and you just kind of like crush them up. So they're like little, you know, like just little dots and stuff of Cheeto things all over your desk. That's kind of what it looked like. Except they were clear because it was just like clear, you know, puffed rice type stuff. They looked like Cheetos, but they weren't. And I thought, you know, maybe some broke and they got on the desk. No, the desk was full of this stuff. And it looked eerily similar to these roach eggs. 
So for all I know, these roaches could have been having a huge orgy inside of this nice warm printer and just started busting eggs all over the desk. It was horrible. And if I remember, I'm going to put a picture up like right here or like somewhere because I actually have a photo of this. I told another story years ago, which was when I worked at a game shop and there was a Xbox 360 Slim that came in and it was full of like spiders and roaches and all that stuff and they were making noises. This was so much worse than that, y'all. This, this was so much worse. It was making me tingle all over the place. My hands were shaking. I was like trying to, I like it, my hands were shaking and I was shaking my hands because I was trying to get the tingles off of me, man. Like it seriously felt like all of a sudden my body decided to act like it had roaches crawling all over it and it was trying to pull this prank on me. So I felt a little bit like a meth addict. I've never tried meth, but I've been told that's kind of what it feels like a little bit. So what happens is I talk to this lady. And she, again, she asked, asked, she's like, oh, hey, you're here for the printer, right? And I said, I found what your issue is. And she's like, yeah, the printer's not working. I said, no, there's bugs in the printer. And she's like, oh, well, hold on, let me show you. I'm like, no, 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 you don't need to show me. You don't need to show me anything. The problem is this is this is leveled up from a IT printer not working issue to a health hazard. I, I am not in control of this. We need to escalate this. And she's like, okay, okay, well, hold on. Let, let me just see if this is working, right? So she, and I'm, I'm pacing around the office, right? And she's on her computer like nothing big is going on. And she saw the roaches and I told her and she decides to print off a document and starts making the noise and starts printing she's like hey hey daddy look look it's it, it's not bad see you don't need to fix it anymore because the printer's working look the printer's working isn't that great i'm like i don't i don't think you realize this the printer working or not working is not the issue anymore the issue is this is now a health hazard we cannot have this printer. We can't have it in your office. We might need to get this office sanitized, and I'm not even sure if this is safe to have in the building. I, as IT, cannot handle this at this point. This is up to exterminators right here. So I told her that, and I said, we, we cannot have this printer. Like, we simply can't. We have to get rid of it. And she was like, oh, well, I don't think we can get another printer because I need this one. And I was like, well, we have to get rid of it. Because this thing is full of roaches. It's literally, I'm telling you, it's an infestation. It is a health hazard. We can't have it in the building or in your office. We really can't. And she was saying, oh, well, I have to check with my professor because it's his budget. So I don't know if we have the budget for another printer. I have to okay it with him first to see if we can get rid of it. And I said, I'm like, okay, you, you know what? You know what? Fine. Fine, you you okay it with him, but listen, you all need to get rid of this printer. I'm telling you, you don't have an option here. And she was actually like, well, can we like clean it up or something? And I'm like, I, I'm not cleaning that printer. I am not cleaning the printer. We, we have to get rid of it. And then she was asking, she's like, okay, well, how do we get rid of it? I was like, well, I'm wearing a hoodie. So like this, this thing is like, you know, it's roomy enough to the point where roaches can just, you know, get in there and have a good old time in there, just like they had in your printer that we just demonstrated right here. So I'm not touching the printer because there's literally a huge risk of all these things getting all over me. And I'm not doing that, especially since, as I said, there were a ton of eggs in there too. It wasn't just live roaches. It was live roaches, dead roaches, and their unborn offspring just chilling in this printer. So again, she's trying to kind of reason with me. She's like, well, listen, the printer's working. And I'm telling her, look, we're not cleaning the printer. We have to get rid of it, but I I'm not going to get rid of it. We have to like deal with the janitors or something because there has to be a code to get rid of something like this. Like either way, we have to burn it or get rid of it or something. But we also had to decommission it properly because it was university property. So we had to show that we were getting rid of it and why we we're getting rid of it and take down the serial number, the ID number, all that other stuff. So what happens in the middle of all of this, right? While this is going on, one of her colleagues comes over and he says hi to me. I say hi back. And she's like, oh, hey, hey, look at this printer, right? He's like, oh, wait, did you get the printer working? She's like, well, no, just look. Th this is the problem with it. And he here's, he here's what I don't get. He comes over. He looks at the printer. The printer's open, right? He comes to the office. He looks down at the printer for a few seconds and then just looks me in the face. He's like, wow, there's a lot of eggs in there. Like, this shit is normal! To, to this day, it's still... I think the scariest thing about this interaction and the previous roach infestation interaction I had is how the people reacted. As I said, the first time I ever dealt with a Xbox 360 that had roaches in it, the owners were acting like there was nothing wrong with it. And they were laughing about the whole thing. And this time there's a printer full of roaches and their offspring 
and one person says, oh, there's a lot of eggs in there. He just comments like it's nothing, and the other person says that there's no issue because the printer is working, and she's trying to do everything in her power to keep the printer. I, I don't get it. I really don't. And listen, to anybody that says I can't handle this stuff, you're right. I probably can't handle this stuff, but I think I've handled more than most people. I've dealt with roach stuff like that because of electronics I've dealt with, and I have had, not once, but twice, I have killed pregnant spiders and had their undead offspring burst out of their guts and come to life and crawl all over the place and one time on me. So I think I've dealt a little more with creepy crawlies than other people unless that's your profession. But anyways, yo, that that's it. That, I'm... Man, I, I think I've told the story enough to the point where it still just like blows my mind a little bit, but my stomach doesn't turn over anymore. But that was just sickening. It's horrible. If you all have any road stories, just let me know. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. And if you, if this, if something like this happens to your hardware and you think this shit is normal, you you need you need to reevaluate something. You need to reevaluate something, man.